enjoy the last class today i would like to tell you a story the heroes of the story are same akbar and bibal one day in his court akbar wanted to test his ministers their brilliance akbar took a piece of chalk and drew a line and asked his ministers can you anyone make this line shorter don't erase don't touch the line but you have to make this line shorter and whoever says the correct answer or whoever could make this line shorter will get a good prize everyone started thinking they came closer to the line and observed it how can we without erasing without touching how can we make this line shorter minutes passed nobody could do anything finally bebel stood up and approached the line he also took a piece of chalk and drew a bigger line near to that of akbar's line tell me which line is shorter now this is akbar's line this is birbal's line which line is shorter yes without it touching or without erasing or rubbing birbal made akbar's line shorter it shows birbal's intelligence quick witness here you have an exercise in page number 10 and 11 exercise j the story is given in jumbled sentences you have to arrange them in the sequential order sequential order means according to the order of happenings what happened first put number 1 then what happened put number 2 what happened after that put number 3 the first one and the last one has been done for you no the first one is done for you one day akbar wanted to test his courtiers courtiers means people of his court his ministers that is the first sentence now it is your duty read all sentences mark with the pencil and if once you feel the marking the number is wrong you may erase and write again so use pencil only arrange the sentences in the order of happenings now it is conversation time let us learn to speak this lesson our conversational area is to introduce others let us learn how to introduce how to make someone familiar to others for example you can introduce your father to someone it's like this meet mr manoj he is my father or this is and lia she is my sister meet miss julie she is our teacher this is rakesh Here's my friend. This is a way of introducing someone. Now, you have to write this topic in your notebook with this heading. Write this. heading conversation in your notebook then write five sentences introducing someone i gave you some examples i will give you one more example in written This is brother Raji. 
He is our principal. So this is only an example for you. Remaining four sentences you have to write yourself and then show me. Remember, whenever you write the name of a person, the first letter should be capital. Even if there are initials like PK, Riju PK, Annie OP, such initials OP, PK, they also should be capital. After full stop, the next letter also should be capital letter. Remember to start a sentence with a capital, end with a full stop. That's all today. The next exercise L. There are two pictures given. They look alike almost, but there are slight changes, differences. You must find the differences in comparing the two pictures. Just mark them. And the next one is to think about the value the lesson gives us. When Amber and Birbal went for a walk in the garden, the garden looked awesome, beautiful. And Amber wondered also, what a beautiful garden. Don't you like gardens? Don't you like the beauty of the nature? If you are happy about it, you have all the responsibilities to maintain the beauty of the nature. Protect the nature for our own survival. This month, 5th of, the, 5th of June, we celebrated the Environmental Day. Every Environmental Day reminds us to protect nature. The necessity of taking care of nature. It is not for the sake of nature, but for the sake of our lives, our survival. If you want to stay comfort, you have to protect the nature. And it is for ourselves. So keeping it in mind, try to plant trees, try to maintain its beauty. And now, it is time to look at the grammar part. Page number 58 in your textbook, we have grammar exercises. It is nothing but the continuation of sentences. We studied different kinds of sentences and how to punctuate a sentence. It is dust. Here, some words are given. You have to pick out or pick where there is a sentence. For example, some boys. Another one is, some boys are playing in the field. Which one is a sentence? Some boys. Is it a sentence? There is only subject. Some boys. What? What are they doing? Where are they? Nothing is mentioned. But the second part you see, some boys are playing in the field. It is the complete sentence. Complete. It gives us a meaning. So, take the second part. This is an exercise you have to do yourself. And then, punctuate the sentence. Put a full stop wherever necessary. Write capital letter if there is no capital letter in the beginning. Do it yourself. The same page 58. The second exercise, B, is rewrite the sentences using capital letters. Full stops or question marks or exclamation marks wherever necessary. It is, the, the first one is done for you. It's an example. What is your birthday party? What is problem with that? It has no capital letter in the beginning. It has no question mark at the end. When it is a question, we have to put a question mark at the end. So it is written. The first one is done as an example for you. Started with the capital letter, ended with full stop, the answer. When is your birthday party? The second one, my mother is a pilot. The problem with this given sentence is not a started with the capital letter, no full stop. So let us rewrite it. My mother 
as a pilot. Started with a capital letter and ended with a full stop. The remaining exercise also, do it yourself. And then, when I send in a correct answer in the WhatsApp, verify your answers with the and prepare for the next online classes. Till the time we meet next time. Bye.